Greetings fellow van lovers, greetings fellow old vehicle enthusiasts like myself. Look what I stumbled upon here. That is one beautiful paint job. Definitely not a custom uh, GM, uh, definitely not an original GM color, that's for sure. And uh, from far away being as blind as a bat as I am, I actually thought it was a Chevy Bullville that I filmed in my area. I don't know, a month and a half ago or something and it was two-tone blue, but when you're blind like me and you're looking at it over there and it's dark, it's hard to tell what you're looking at really, you know? But uh, that is some, that is a sweet rig. It's funny because it still seems to have the uh, nice white leather tires. No, they're old fucking mags. What are those, Ford mags? Oh, they're old Kragers. It's kind of weird because it's got a really nice paint job. Look at even... They even fucking painted the uh, the post black to kind of make it look like a one-piece deal, like a bust or something, you know. Man, that is sweet. Incidentally, those of you who are, don't know too much about old American vans, this particular body style was made for so long, it's incredible. From 71 to... Uh, uh, hang on a second, guys. Sorry about that. I wanted to film an older bust that was... Uh passing by yeah like I was saying they made this body style from 71 all the way to 96 can you believe that and it's almost hard to believe nowadays when you see a vehicle that's that was made for decades without really many changes at all because today unfortunately we live in a society today where it's not the expression you know if it ain't broke don't fix it because back in the day when these were made along with the Dodge equivalent to this which also oddly enough was redesigned for 71 they made that even longer up until like fucking 2003 econoline actually came here to film in econoline i'd seen before around this street here and i'm gonna go see if it's there got a big step there man that is cool but i got a feeling this thing's not completed because again these old dirty mags and tires look new looks like it needs a little like some flames or some sort of graphic or stripes or something you know, again, these things are not rare, you know, especially if you go out west or in the southern states, they're just raining these. But again, this is the rust belt. Everything deteriorates so quickly. And uh, mind you, the, the this looks like it could have been a commercial truck or some kind because it's got these doors there. These are uh, like a barn doors, as they're known. This is not, uh, this was more like a, a commercial truck type of thing, delivery truck, you know. Very cool stuff, man. Interesting touch with the SS 454. Does it really have a 454 in it? That would be sweet. Interior? Interior looks good. Very good. There you go. Another sign that thing's from the 90s. Look at that that steering wheel with the airbag. Well, I might as well go see if the uh, the uh, Econa line there from the late 70s is parked there. I figure we'll do a two for one there. Here in Montreal, there, Montreal. Uh, let's go uh, take a little peek there. We'll use the lens to see if it's there or not. It's usually there. I wouldn't be surprised if the guy had that van. He had this one too, both on both of them. You know, I know how guys are. You know, it's like a guy has a muscle car. He'll have more than one or two or three. And then, it's, you know, it's guys who have Cadillacs. They'll have two Cadillacs or one Cadillac, one Lincoln. I know how guys are. I know how they think, you know. I know that all too well. It's like me. If I wasn't born being fucking visually impaired, I got my grandfather's eyesight. I would, of course, have... Uh, I think I see it over there. I, of course, would have had, you know, one or two big boats. You know, one big Buick, one big Caddy, one big GM. Something like that. You know what? I don't think it's here. Oh, yes, it's over there. It's over there. Okay, so a few stone throws away there. Maybe two or three stone throws away from that uh, that Chevy you just saw. Coming up to this Ford Econoline that I had seen from the bus a few times. And what's cool about this one is that it's really old. This thing is like 75 to 79. And you can't really tell that from looking from this view here. Okay, I don't care really for the fucking flat black. I think this thing's getting played out, but whatever. It could be worse, you know, but it's still a cool truck. Nice huge fucking tires on there too. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Why did I think it was older than that? No, no, this is a quintessential uh, E150 80s Econoline van. Uh, because when I was saying this, when this, this was redesigned in like 74, 75, the grill, the shape is the same, but the uh, the look of it is not the same. Yeah, well, obviously the Beauville is nicer, but uh, still, it's a cool van. It's, hey, it's vintage. This design was made up until 1990, 
92, I think. Boy, this is a busy fucking street. Jesus Christ. Fuck me running. Anybody walk around here? God damn it. Of course, this being Monty, yeah, sometimes I think it's a fucking miracle. I've never been run over, frankly. Jesus Christ. But actually, maybe this van is older than I think because it's got the chrome around the, the side windows. And they stopped doing that at a certain point, so maybe this is more like an early 80s model. Also, there's the chrome around the taillights. The taillight bezels are chromed. Of course, at that time, this thing was made, if it is early, in the early 80s, they called it a club wagon, which is kind of weird. You know, these, these companies did that. It's like the Volkswagen van. They called it a wagon. They called it a bus. You know, man, I like those big fucking tires, man. Imagine if this thing was jacked up. That would be really something. She's got a little rust, but it doesn't look horrible. Mind you, you know, rust is like cancer. You know, like, things can look okay, but doesn't mean they are, you know? Yeah, yeah. Well, it's neat. It's neat to see. It's, uh, I'm glad I came over to record it, even though my stupid heart is bothering me lately. There you go. Two for one. I don't get to do that too often. I hope you guys will enjoy watching it. Oh! One more thing I forgot to mention. Check this out. Just like the other van you just saw. See that? It's got the barn doors on the side. If this was not a commercial van, right, for recreation or whatever, it would have been one one door only. But it's two doors, two, just like that. And the Dodge was like that too, the Dodge Ram Tradesman. Right on. Well, if I don't see many old cars in this town, I guess I'll see some vans, eh?